thank you to a viewer who sent me these paints for me to try. These are just the Jacquard textile paints. I love the colors, um, and they're in my Amazon shop, although I will say they didn't dry as vibrant as, you know, maybe a Liquitex or a Golden. So they're very, very matte, but I do love the color palette. The um, colors that I used today, the Van Dyke Brown I added, Indian Yellow Hue, the Golden, um, I think that's the Hansa Yellow. I can't read my own it's writing. <laughs> and the Deco Art Fluid Acrylic Black, Carbon Black. And then the little Bling It Primary Element Bling It Powder that I always use, the Indian Spice. I love that stuff. Um, it's just wonderful. It just adds like a lively sparkle to the gold. And then the one I didn't show in this photograph, but I did use and add to this painting was the Iridescent um, Peach by Arteza. So that's one. And they're all just mixed with Floetrol and water. Um, that's it, nothing special. Uh, it was really cool. I got this in the mail from Stuart Simple uh, heavy metal pack. So while I am not planning on using it on this painting, I wanted to show you the little pack. I will use it in the future for something. Um, this is their heavy metal. So silver, the goldest gold, the silveriest silver, the gold black, and the copper. And they really are incredibly shiny, you guys. But they're expensive. A little on the expensive side, too. But great. I, it would be amazing for embellishing. And that's what I plan on doing with it. You can find these at culturehustle.com. And uh, I plan on doing some embellishing. Maybe even this painting. I haven't decided yet. But um, I probably won't use them in a pour because they're just uh, not... They're a little cost prohibitive for that. But... So what I want to do today, you guys, is I wanted to use a tray. So I take my little catalyst wedges and I'm just basically building a little uh, triangle so that when I set my little tray, that's just one of the little food service tray, um, it's at an angle because I'm trying to layer the paints in the corner of that tray. So then I put something ahead of it so it won't scoot around on me and that's the plan so here's all my colors you see there's a blue and a couple of whites in there too um, these are just leftover paints the blue I don't even know I think it's maybe the Arteza electric blue and um, the white is there's a pearl in there and there's the gold a gold sparkle white there's just a white that's in a bottle. I just layered and layered and layered and layered. I sped this up like 20 times because this part took forever. Um, but yeah, you know, I just, my plan was just to layer all the paints in there and to hopefully get a lot of beautiful lines without any weird color mixing. Although when you buy paints that are in a packet a pack like that a lot of times they're made to go together their tones are all similar and you can kind of see that those paints would all go together um, so there is the beautiful beautiful stripes and now I'm doing a 10 by 20 I decide to do a little bit of a base coat this is just a artist loft white something really really um, just cheap and easy to use. I love Artist Loft White actually. Um, I like the effects of a golden white if I'm doing some airbrushing or some detail work, but just for your good, average, uh, non-cracking white paint, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic is awesome. So here we go, you guys. Oh, it's so pretty. For those of you who love to see paint come out of a tray, I could watch that part over and over. I might stick that on my Instagram. 
If you guys haven't visited my Instagram, um, please do so. I am going to do a giveaway. I, uh, just seems like I don't have enough time in the day sometimes to accomplish all the things I need to do, but if you go to my Instagram, it's Heather Mater Art on Instagram, hashtag Heather Mater Art, you'll find me. And, uh, Sometimes I'll post little videos on there, little short clips, and um, some things that I don't have a video for, you know, there's work I do that I don't video, and uh, I'll post on Instagram so you'll get to see some different things that you may not see here on YouTube. And it's really pretty, like, I'm loving the colors, and I'm loving the Indian yellow over here on the bottom left, the Indian yellow mixed with the, um, I, the, it has to be yellow and the blue that made that gorgeous green. Cause I didn't have a bright green like that, but I love how that did turn out. And that the magic of the fluid acrylics is the way that they mix together. And so anyone who says that this is easy to do has never tried it. Um, because that's exactly how I got into this painting, this type of painting. I said, someone just pours this from a cup? That has to be super easy. <laughs> Even I could do that. That's what I thought. Even I could do that. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. You really do have to know. You have to teach yourself some color theory eventually. Um, so, oh, already you see me scraping something off, I know. But what I thought for a minute was I'm going to try to put some negative white space. Um, so I'm going to finish the right side with the little leftovers and then on the left side I'm going to put the white space and it'll just kind of bring like a balance to the painting. I on some level wish I would have left it like this but you ever in <laughs> are you ever in those moods to just kind of play? I think it's because I don't get to paint very often anymore and so sometimes I'm just I don't want to stop and I don't want it to be over and um, so this is one of those cases that I actually love the painting but I just also didn't want to stop <laughs> and I just I wanted to play more I think so I started doing some balloon rolls and you know <sighs> my balloon aka my glove was almost completely out of air it had been punctured or something so I was struggling with it and I was struggling with the balloon rolls they just were not turning out one after the other there was a few I liked this one I absolutely love the yellow that popped through on the bottom I love the warmth of that very pretty but overall, especially this one right here, it just kept getting muddier and muddier and muddier and muddier. And I ended up ruining like the pretty part that I really loved of this painting. So, I mean, the moral of the story, I could tell you don't just, you know, walk away from your canvas, but I think there's something really therapeutic about playing in paint, even if the end result isn't what we hoped for. Um, we always learn something about what's happening uh, with our paints, and we always learn something about ourselves, too. <laughs> isn't that true with life? As we practice life, we end up learning about ourselves, and and we make mistakes along the way and we have to start over sometimes and I was not frustrated you guys I painted on this for a couple of hours and it was just fun and I think that's the part of it for me that um, made this process just enlightening I guess because I wasn't really concerned I mean I wanted it to turn out of course I want a beautiful painting but 
I was just kind of playing around, seeing what would happen, and just kind of having fun. I decided to add some white, maybe do a little swipe, and then uh, I even um, I pulled out my airbrush. <laughs> and then I just, yep, just with my hands, just start pushing the paint away. At this point, I know, like, it's not going to turn out, so I'm just, now I'm just delighting in the feel of the paint between my fingers if you want to know the truth. Just love the cold feeling of that paint on the gloves and I thought well maybe I can still pull it together. Eh. There's a lot of paint under that white and it kept coming through no matter what and balloon rolls that wasn't happening and I don't know I hit this point of no return and I think that happens I just made a new cup <laughs> it can happen when you get to that point where you're just like okay I admit defeat I can't do anything else but start over and I was actually totally okay with that <laughs> because I love the painting that came out of there and it was so quick and so easy. Sometimes it is that way, you know? I already love the colors. I love the pattern. And you know, I didn't have as many layers in that cup. I literally just put one big um, layer of each color. So that's why you're getting, in this painting, there's a lot more dramatic look to it because, um, you know, you're getting big um, stripes of the same color. I, it already, it looks like a wisdom tooth to me. So I decided to, the place where the root would be on the tooth, I decide to kind of like add the black in there. And I'm thinking that that's, maybe I can figure out how to save those balloon rolls down there and just add the black in that blank spot to kind of tie in with the black. I mean, that's my initial thought process at least. But as I go on, I decide, I think the whole thing would just look good with black. Just more dramatic, and this is a much more dramatic look than the first one, I think. And so I just use my airbrush to kind of smooth out that black layer. And then the one thing I notice is as I'm working on it, the blue is just sinking down amongst the other colors. So. I go back and I highlight the blue. I just follow the natural lines of the painting, you guys, if you want to do this. At the end of your painting, if you see a color that's really missing or one that you want, um, but it sunk down somehow in the painting or it didn't show up the way that you hoped it would, go back, add it. You don't have to stop. You can always, I try to find a col the color in the painting that's close and I use it as a guideline and I try to, f you know, follow the natural lines of the painting. And don't be too concerned if it's perfect because it will sink down. So remember the first painting that I did on this one, you guys? There's the first one and I do love it. I do love it. But I am not mad at this one at all. <laughs> I'm really not. Look at how pretty. And all the sparkles you see is that Indian spice, and it's definitely mixed in with, you know, some of the earth tones, some of the reds. It's not a particularly shimmering painting, but it has a beautiful quality and really fun. Now these paint this this one did dry a lot lighter. So not quite as dramatic, maybe resin or something would, would bring that out. But I think it's gorgeous. And as always, I appreciate you guys coming along my painting journey. And I can't wait to make more art videos just for you. 
thank you so much, you guys. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.